long past. Red and gold lanterns adorn the ceilings, while faded paintings of serene landscapes adorn the walls. The clinking of silverware and the hum of conversations from a bygone era filled the air. Sophia clutched the printout of Elon Musk's email, a tangible reminder of their impending meeting with the visionary. As they savored the flavors of dim sum and chew made, their minds buzzed with anticipation and excitement for what lay ahead. Outside the window, the Florida sun cast long shadows over the worn-out signboards, each a testament to a time when CI waited, their minds buzzing with ideas and possibilities. As they drove, the landscape shifted, and the excitement in the air was tangible. The meeting with Elon Musk was not just a professional milestone. It was an intersection of innovation and inspiration, a moment destined to carve a new chapter in their pursuit of knowledge and groundbreaking discoveries. The result, Sophia, they confirmed the validity of the numerical simulations. Jerry Garrett Allo, in their pursuit, established a contact model of high-density powder, employing discrete element numerical simulations on the YADE open-source software system. The 
atmosphere inside the Chinese restaurant buzzed through the intensity of scientific discovery as Dr. Metal and Sophia delved deeper into the text, discussing the economic utilization of fly ash and its implications for environmental mitigation in India. Their voices crescendoed in enraptured. Heralded an imminent convergence of historical secrets and futuristic innovation. In the midst of this volatile tableau, the quest for eternal fusion emerged. A quest that transcended time, melding the echoes of the past with the aspirations of the future. And within this tumultuous symphony of revelations, the legends of the Wild West intertwined with the cosmic dance of scientific discovery, forever etching their mark on the fabric of time. Once upon a time, in a land where copper and tungsten wove tales of pollution and scientific wonder, there lived a wise trio, Dr. Metal, Sophia, and Elon Musk. They embarked on a journey of discovery, unraveling the mysteries of environmental research and metal coating marbles. In their quest, they stumbled upon the wisdom of Neary, Jack Moore, learning of methods to manage toxic sludge from copper industries. They marveled at how copper, while noble, burned in environmental woes when mingled with toxic elements, echoing the dangers of mining and refining. Meanwhile, Elon Musk, with the wisdom they bear witness to a synthesis not merely of materials, but of diverging identities expressed through design. He pivots seamlessly linking the theory of cultural transition to a new realm, the methodologies of Ghost in 2005, 193-194, on periods of transition, where relationships between the tones poised on the brink of an epiphany. Sophia, the potential of fly ash, cement making, brick making, even precious metal recovery. It's an urgent call for environmental mitigation, India's utilization, a mere fraction, while the rest is discarded as waste. The chemical composition, the possibilities. It's a symphony of innovation waiting to be orchestrated. Indeed, Dr. Metal. The wealth of resources within fly ash, untapped and discarded, presents an opportunity for transformative environmental change. The composition data, the potential utilization, is a key to unlocking a sustainable future. Their conversation on the brink of revelation is abruptly interrupted by the sudden silence that descends upon the bustling restaurant. A hush falls over the patrons as the sound of a black, oversized limousine splashes through a puddle of water and oil. Screeching to a stop just outside the front door, the sheer closeness hints at intention rather than mere coincidence. Elon Smoke. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed scientists and curious minds alike, I stand before you not just as an entrepreneur of technology, but as a seeker of the enigmatic threads that weave revelations on transitions. The emergence of relationships between humans and their objects. But what if, beyond these transitions, lie secrets tied to ancient Egypt? Secrets that resonate with the geographical nature of the pyramid-based structure. The very makeup of the Earth it rests upon. Elon went on. Imagine, if you will, the interplay of ancient Egyptian electricity he perceived the enigmatic words woven into the narrative. As she exchanged glances with Doctor, her attention was momentarily diverted. 
on in the depths of sin by Elon in the ancient 97. As Sophia unveiled this revelation, the atmosphere shifted. The winds of change rattled the saloon doors, and the spirits of the wild west danced with the scientific fervor of the cosmos. The revelation, a bolt of lightning in the twilight sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
now, without further ado, let us begin our radio drama, Powder Dynamics. Thank you. 
dear listeners, to the final act of Powder Dynamics 7, a radio drama that explores the mysteries and complexities of high-density powder compaction through the eyes and ears of four radio drama narrators. Composite. 
to jest, to recommend, to praise, to criticize, to agree, to disagree, to end, to begin. And what is the point of this question anyway? To ask, to answer, to question, to answer, to question, to answer, to question. Strip mall restaurant barely holding together with time. Stop at 
determination and resignation of place in the perpetual 1987 abandoned mall. The scenario ends with the door speeding into the distance of the abandoned mall into the green sky filled with hot dogs and waffle burgers with the green which forest maiden named Queen Nymphy Avenales Ambrosia in a white rented Toyota Prius. The purpose of this essay is to explore the possible meanings and implications of this scenario using a postmodern perspective that challenges the notions of truth, reality, and representation. I will argue that this scenario is a parody of science and culture that exposes the contradictions, inconsistencies, and absurdities of both domains, and that invites the reader to question the validity and authority of any discourse or narrative. I will also suggest that this scenario is a creative and playful expression of the human imagination that transcends the boundaries of logic and reason, and that celebrates the diversity and complexity of the human experience. I will use various sources and references from my memory banks, such as web search results, to support my analysis and to add some contextual and factual anecdotes. I will also use a post-doctorate standard of writing using clever academic jibes and references to create a contrast and a satire of the academic discourse and style. The scenario as a parody of science. The scenario is a parody of science as it holds and subverts the conventions and expectations of scientific discourse and practice. The scenario is based on a text that was originally written as a description of a scientific breakthrough in tungsten coatings which is a topic of interest and relevance for the fields of material science and engineering. The text follows the typical structure and style of the scientific report using technical terms, precise measurements, and objective language. The text also cites a relevant and credible source, Jerry Oh, 
scientific discourse and practice by using humor, irony, and exaggeration. The scenario exposes the contradictions, inconsistencies, and absurdities of science by showing how science can be manipulated, distorted, and corrupted by adding or changing some details or elements. The scenario also challenges the notions of truth, reality, and representation in science by showing how science can be subjective, relative, and contingent on the perspective and the context of the observer. The scenario also questions the validity and the authority of science by showing how science can be unreliable, uncertain, and fallible, and how science can be influenced and affected by external factors, such as culture, politics, and economics. The scenario also invites the reader to question the assumptions and the beliefs of science by showing how science can be limited, biased, and incomplete, and how science can be challenged and contested by alternative or competing discourses or narratives. The scenario as a parody of culture. The scenario is also a parody of culture, as it mocks and subverts the conventions and expectations of cultural discourse and practice. The scenario is based on a text that introduces elements that are related and relevant to various aspects of culture, such as art, music, food, geography, history, and mythology. The text uses elements that are recognizable and familiar to the reader, such as humanoid dogs, hip-hop, Chinese buffet, Elon Musk, Florida, 1987, and Queen Nymphie Avenales Ambrosia. These elements are derived from different sources and references from my memory banks, such as web search results that provide some contextual and factual anecdotes. For example, humanoid dogs are a type of anthropomorphic animal characters that have human-like features and behaviors and that are often used in fiction, animation, and comics, such as Scooby-Doo, Brian Griffin, and Goofy 3. Hip-hop is a genre of music and a culture that originated in the Bronx, New York, in the 1970s, and that consists of four elements, rap, teaching, breakdancing, and graffiti, and that is influenced by various musical styles, such as funk, soul, jazz, and reggae. Chinese Buffet is a type of restaurant that offers a variety of Chinese dishes in a self-service format, and that is popular and common in many countries, especially in the United States, where it is often associated with cheap and low-quality food, and where it is often criticized for its health and hygiene issues. Elon Musk is a tech billionaire who is known for his visionary and ambitious projects and ventures in the fields of science and technology, such as Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and The Boring Company, and who is also known for his controversial and eccentric personality and behavior, such as his tweets, memes, and jokes. Florida is a state in the southeastern region of the United States that is known for its warm and sunny climate, its diverse and multicultural population, its tourism and entertainment industry, such as Disney World and Universal Studios, and its bizarre and surreal new stories, such as the Florida Man phenomenon. 1987 is a year that is considered as a significant and memorable year in history, culture, and science, as it witnessed various events and developed 
developments, such as the Black Monday stock market crash, the Iran-Contra affair, the release of the first Final Fantasy video game, the launch of the Fox Broadcasting Company, the debut of The Simpsons, the discovery of the Supernova SN-1987A, and the signing of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Queen Nymphie Avenala's Ambrosia is a fictional character that I created, based on various sources and references from my memory banks, such as web search results, that provide some contextual and factual anecdotes. For example, Nymphie is a Latin word that means water lilies, which are aquatic plants that have symbolic and cultural meanings in various religions and traditions, such as Buddhism, Hinduism, and Egyptian mythology. Avanales is a Latin word that means of the spring, which is a season that is associated with rebirth, renewal, and the scenario as a parody of culture continued. The scenario is a parody of culture, as it mocks and subverts the conventions and expectations of cultural discourse and practice by using humor, irony, and exaggeration. The scenario exposes the contradictions, inconsistencies, and absurdities of culture by showing how culture can be mixed, matched, and mismatched, creating hybrid and heterogeneous forms and expressions that defy categorization and classification. The scenario also challenges the notions of identity, authenticity, and representation in culture by showing how culture can be fluid, dynamic, and contingent on the perspective and the context of the observer. The scenario also questions the validity and the authority of culture by showing how culture can be subjective, relative, and arbitrary, and how culture can be influenced and affected by external factors, such as power, ideology, and hegemony. The scenario also invites the reader to question the assumptions and the beliefs of culture by showing how culture can be diverse, complex, and ambiguous, and how culture can be challenged and contested by alternative or competing discourses or narratives. The scenario is presented as a narrative that follows the experiences of two humanoid dogs dressed in hip-hop clothes who also rap as they witness the scene of the text occurring in a Chinese buffet set in an abandoned 1987 time capsule in Florida. A Florida that has green skies filled with hot dogs and waffle burgers. The scenario also includes a forest maiden, which named Queen Nymphie Avenalis Ambrosia, who only wears green clothes, and her role as a warning to the dogs sitting inside eating fried rice among plastic fake ferns full of used ancient cigarette butts, to warn them of getting out of the restaurant side unseen by a bunch of peculiar looking scientists staring at Elon Musk coming out of a black stretch limousine in a big black cowboy hat as if he is entering into a wild west saloon bar. Only the Chinese buffet is an old 1987 semi-abandoned glass frontage strip mall restaurant barely holding together with time, stubborn determination, and resignation of place in the perpetual 1987 abandoned mall. The scenario ends with the dog speeding into the distance of the abandoned mall into the green sky filled with hot dogs and waffle burgers with the green, which forest maiden named Queen Nymphy Avenalis Ambrosia in a white rented Toyota Prius.
The narrative is a parody of culture, as it uses various elements and techniques that are typical and characteristic of cultural genres and forms, such as fiction, animation, comics, music, film, and television, but that are also distorted and exaggerated to create a contrast and a satire of the cultural discourse and style. The narrative uses elements and techniques such as Anthropomorphism The narrative uses humanoid dogs as the main characters who have human-like features and behaviours such as wearing clothes, speaking and rapping. Anthropomorphism is a common and popular technique in fiction, animation and comics as it allows the creators and the audience to explore and express various themes and issues such as identity, morality and society through the perspective and the experience of non-human characters who can act as metaphors, allegories or symbols. However, the narrative also uses anthropomorphism to create a parody of culture, as it shows how the humanoid dogs are influenced and affected by human culture, such as hip-hop, Chinese buffet, and Elon Musk, and how they adopt and adapt to human culture, creating a hybrid and heterogeneous culture that is both familiar and unfamiliar, both similar and different, both authentic and inauthentic. Intertextuality. The narrative uses various references and allusions to other texts and sources, such as Scooby-Doo, Brian Griffin, Goofy, Final Fantasy, The Simpsons, SN 1987A, and The Boring Company, that are derived from different domains and fields, such as fiction, animation, comics, video games, television, science, and technology. Intertextuality is a common and popular technique in fiction, animation, comics, music, film, and television, as it allows the creators and the audience to enrich and enhance the meaning and the interpretation of the text by connecting and relating it to other texts and sources, creating a network and a dialogue of texts and sources. However, the narrative also uses intertextuality to create a parody of culture, as it shows how the references and allusions are randomly and arbitrarily inserted into the text without any logical or coherent connection or explanation, and how they create a contrast and a contradiction with the text, creating a confusion and a chaos of text and sources. Metafiction, the narrative uses various elements and techniques that draw attention to the fact that the narrative is a fictional construct, such as self-referentiality, breaking the fourth wall, and unreliable narration. Metafiction is a common and popular technique in fiction, animation, comics, music, film, and television, as it allows the creators and the audience to explore and express various themes and issues, such as truth, reality, and representation, through the perspective and the experience of the fictional characters, who can act as critics, commentators, or parodists. However, the narrative also uses metafiction to create a parody of culture, as it shows how the narrative is aware and conscious of its own absurdity and ridiculousness, and how it mocks and subverts the conventions and expectations of the cultural genres it forms, creating a parody and a satire of the cultural discourse and style. The narrative is a parody of culture, as it uses various elements and techniques that are typical and characteristic of cultural genres genres and forms, but that are also distorted and exaggerated to create a contrast and a satire of the cultural discourse and style. The narrative exposes the contradictions, inconsistencies, and absurdities of culture by showing how culture can be mixed, matched, and mismatched, creating hybrid and heterogeneous forms and expressions that defy categorization and classification. The narrative also challenges the notions of identity, authenticity, and representation in culture by showing how culture can be fluid, dynamic, and contingent on the perspective and the context of the observer. 
The narrative also questions the validity and the authority of culture by showing how culture can be subjective, relative, and arbitrary, and how culture can be influenced and affected by external factors, such as power, ideology, and hegemony. The narrative also invites the reader to question the assumptions and the beliefs of culture by showing how culture can be diverse, complex, and ambiguous, and how culture can be challenged and contested by alternative or competing discourses or narratives. Conclusion In this essay, I have analyzed a hypothetical scenario that involves a bizarre combination of elements, such as humanoid dogs, hip-hop, Chinese buffet, Elon Musk, Florida, 1987, and Queen Nipsey Avenalis Ambrosia. The scenario is based on a text that was originally written as a description of a scientific breakthrough in tungsten coating, but was later modified and distorted by adding absurd and incongruous details. The scenario is presented as a narrative that follows the experiences of two humanoid dogs dressed in hip-hop clothes, who also rap, as they witness the scene of the text occurring in a Chinese buffet, set in an abandoned 1987 time capsule in Florida, a Florida that has green skies filled with hot dogs and waffle burgers. The scenario also includes a forest maiden, which named Queen Nymphy Avenalis Ambrosia, who only wears green clothes, and her role as a warning to the dog sitting inside eating fried rice among plastic fake ferns full of used ancient cigarette butts, to warn them of getting out of the restaurant site unseen by a bunch of peculiar-looking scientists staring at Elon Musk coming out of a black stretch limousine in a big black cowboy hat, as if he is entering into a Wild West saloon bar. Only them. Chinese Buffet is an old 1987 semi-abandoned glass frontage strip mall restaurant barely holding together with time, stubborn determination, and resignation of place in the perpetual 1987 abandoned mall. The scenario ends with the dogs feeding into the distance of the abandoned mall into the green sky filled with hot dogs and waffle burgers with the green, which forest maiden named Queen Nipsey Avenalis Ambrosia in a white rented Toyota Prius. I have argued that this scenario is a parody of science and culture that exposes the contradictions, inconsistencies, and absurdities of both domains, and that invites the reader to question the validity and authority of any discourse or narrative. I have also suggested that this scenario is a creative and playful expression of the human imagination that transcends the boundaries of logic and reason, and that celebrates the diversity and complexity of the human experience. I have used various sources and references from my memory banks, such as web search results, to support my analysis and to add some contextual and factual anecdotes. I have also used a postdoctorate standard of writing, using clever academic jibes and references, to create a contrast and a satire of the academic discourse and style. This essay is a parody of itself, as it mocks and subverts the conventions and expectations of academic discourse and practice by using humor, irony, and exaggeration. This essay exposes the contradictions, inconsistencies, and absurdities of academic discourse and practice by showing how academic discourse and practice can be manipulated, distorted, and corrupted by adding or changing some details or elements. This essay also challenges the notions of truth, reality, and representation in academic discourse and practice by showing how academic discourse and practice can be subjective, relative, and contingent on the perspective and the context of the observer. This essay also questions the validity and the authority of academic discourse and practice by showing how academic discourse and this essay also questions the validity and the authority of academic discourse and practice by showing how academic discourse and practice can be unreliable, uncertain, and fallible, and how academic discourse and practice can be influenced and affected by external factors, such as culture, politics, and economics. This essay also invites the reader to question the assumptions and the beliefs of academic discourse and practice by showing how academic discourse and practice can be limited, biased, and incomplete, and how academic discourse and practice can be challenged and contested by alternative or competing discourses or narratives. This essay is a creative and playful expression of the human imagination that transcends the boundaries of logic and reason 
and that celebrates the diversity and complexity of the human experience. This essay is an experiment and an exploration of the possibilities and potentials of the human mind that can create and recreate various scenarios, elements, and techniques that can combine and recombine.